Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm MJ. Today I'm going to walk through every last bit of my planner. It's it's a lot here, <laughs> but um, I wanted to show you guys what's all in it, how I organize my life, just all the different aspects of my planner. I'm going to have some timestamps listed so you guys can look at what you want to if you just kind of want to breeze through and look at a specific section. Some sections are not very long, others are a lot longer, but if you want to just join me for this time, just have a seat, enjoy whatever food you have, however you're chilling, light a candle, and get ready to look through this entire planner. Before I get deeper into it, I wanna show you guys other binders that I like to use from Franklin Planner. This one is the same Beautiful Life collection, but it's the champagne color. I really love this. I'll do a separate video on this and more details about that later. This binder is one of my favorites. It's the Anna binder. And this is real leather and it smells so amazing. It's very sturdy. Um, that's just, that's, that's one of my favorites. This one is the Erica and this is simulated leather as well. Um, this one has a zipper. I don't use it all the time because I don't really love the zipper aspect. But if I know that I'm just, I have like a whole lot of papers that I don't want to um, get messed up and I'm having it in a certain bag or something, then I'll use this binder. This is the writer binder and I flipped out the rings because I love these black rings with this binder, especially because it's open and you don't, it doesn't smush the pages. So this is my, this is one of my planners when I want to feel, you know, executive and this is real leather as well this is another leather binder and it's the anna but it's in blue franklin planner came out with this not too long ago they came out with this blue color and a red color and i like to swap this out every now and then so these are all the binders that I use with my current setup I don't want to spend too too much time on the binders because I want to get into what's in my planner but I just wanted to just kind of give you a, a look at the different binders that I use with this setup okay so I'm gonna start with the pockets this pocket I don't have anything in this pocket nothing However, I would keep some stickers in there depending on what I'm planning, just what's going on that week. So I kind of change stickers for, I kind of change this whole pocket setup every now and then depending on what I need. Sometimes I kind of try to be cutesy and add little clips and different little things, but I realize that just kind of bulks up the front of my planner and I don't really use them. So I've been using these little cards to just kind of indicate the month, what's going on. I'm not using this as my wallet currently, so I don't use these little pockets for my cards. I used to use my, these pockets for like credit cards and things like that, but I haven't been using it as my wallet. So I don't really have much to put in these little slots. And I have a little clip here, but and I was going to put it on, on here, but I didn't want to indent it. And I just, I really don't have a plan for these pockets. So honestly, um, again, I ask myself, do I want to be cutesy or do I want to be functional? And sometimes they go together, but sometimes they don't. And currently I want to be more functional. So if I'm looking at like the day of the week or whatever, I haven't filled out this little priority card, but, um, I guess so far you could say this is cute, but I plan to use it more in a functional way. So I don't have much here, but if you have any ideas, anything that you put up here, actually in this card slot in one of my old planners, I put my planner routine, so I'm, I might actually do that. So for this dashboard, which I am really excited about, 
Franklin Planner has different page lifters that comes with each planner. And the, for the Beautiful Life collection, they have finally come out with a clear page lifter instead of a black one. It's really cool because you guys know how we love our cutesy things, our transparent things. And before when I had the black ones, it was just, you know, pink on black or white on black and it didn't really look cute and so now that they have the clear ones that come with the beautiful life collection then i've been using this in the front as a clear dashboard which holds my page flags my sticky notes these page flags are from top paper co some of these are from cloth and paper this is from cloth and paper as well this is a dashboard that I made a long long time ago in when I say a long long time ago I probably mean like last year and I just love it I don't I don't know how I can edit it to make it look better I just I just love it it makes me feel so cozy and I made this on Canva and this is just regular 32 pound paper I didn't really want to do go the whole route of like being extra so I just put it on regular paper. This is a quote that I created on Canva as well. Never argue with an idiot. They will drag you down to their level and beat you with experience. <sighs> I don't know how I was feeling the day I made it. I mean, clearly upset. <laughs> but I do find this quote to be really just helpful. Just a helpful reminder. It's not super elegant, but... I like it and it's in my planner so there's that this is my table of contents which I love I did MJOS so MJ operating system and I put the month that I created it and I kind of want to keep track of like what months I create my table of contents so I can know you know when I've had certain things in my planner what I need to update again I have I created on Canva so I can edit it however whenever and just reprint it I printed it on letter size paper and I just as I printed it or as I went into the like printing window I said to put two copies per page and so it just split right down the middle so I actually have two copies I don't have them in here but just it just makes it easier to print things out instead of having having to like you know figure out how to crop it or cut it beforehand I just create two whenever I'm doing half letter size and just chop it down the middle this next dashboard is um, I actually have some vellum attached to it this is a dashboard I created again last year I love it it's this is one I made for springtime and I don't know why I have it in my planner, but I like it. It's pretty, and I guess that's why. So there's that. And that's it for the intro section with all my dashboards and my table of contents. Now we're at the goal section. This is just where I keep a couple of sticky notes just in case I want to edit some goals before I plan certain things, which I'll discuss in shortly. The first page is my mission statement, roles, and affirmations. So in the Franklin Planner course on the website, on their website, they kind of walk you through just what to do um, to create a mission statement, different affirmations. Honestly, I love this so much. I created this specific page in Canva and it lists out different um, roles in my life and different, you know, goals that I have for each role. And the affirmations are or the goals are listed out as affirmations. So instead of saying like, I want to do this, I say like, I do this. And as I read it, it kind of for some reason, it kind of helps and empowers me to actually do it. I really haven't studied the psychology of it. 
actually I'm reading this book called Atomic Habits and it talks a little bit about this. I, I highly recommend it. I'm not finished with it yet because I've just been taking little chunks of it. But this is how I build my goals. I look at my mission statement, the different roles in my life, and then I create goals from there that align with that. So I refer back to this page weekly. I mean, sometimes daily, depending on how I feel and what I need. And again, I just kind of built my goals from here. Honestly, when I don't look at this page, I feel it like I end up just kind of rambling and scrambling through life and I'm not really doing what it takes for me to feel happy and connected and I sat down for a long time to build these these roles or to kind of spell out these roles and so when I recognize okay my life is in a frenzy and I look back at these I notice that I'm not doing any of these things that I know will fulfill me. This is a guideline that I come back to very often so that I know that all of my plans, like my weekly, daily, monthly, all of that are aligned with what I value and what I believe and just kind of making sure that I'm you know, paying attention to that. So like I said, you guys can do that. I'll have that planner course linked in the description you can just go to the website and look at the very bottom and it says like free planning course or a free franklin planner course you don't have to use a franklin planner for it you can literally just kind of use it to map out what you need and you can use any planner but it's really it's really cool to kind of match up the Franklin planner with your goals, your roles, the things that you want to um, achieve in life. And it's just really cool. So check that out. This again, this is where I keep this page. And then I keep these uh, goal planning pages in my planner. I don't have any listed out yet um, or currently because I'm just kind of I had to reset some things and I was having my goals listed somewhere else so now I am going to be using this goal planning page again and it kind of helps you this little triangle it's from the Franklin planner course and they tell you just kind of how to you know go up this pyramid and build your goals so if you guys check that out and you know, see what they mean, then you'll be able to know when how they break it down. It starts with the value, the mission, or the role, which is listed on this page. Then what you want to accomplish and when, and then the different steps or how you're going to accomplish it and the deadline to do it. So I'm going to map these out for like smaller goals, like short term goals, like, you know, updating something in the house or something like that. And honestly, that's all I have for my goal section because I want to simplify. I want to keep it simple so I'm not, you know, spending too much time here. I want to be able to like look at it, create a goal and then get to it. And so I guess the rest of my goal planning is more in my planning pages and my lists and certain things like that. But these are just like the bigger core goals that I have in my planner. So now we're on to the calendars. I have holidays and observances for the next five years in this calendar. I got this page from Franklin Planner. And next I have monthlies for, again, the Franklin Planner. And I actually have a, a binder, like a storage binder to store all of the ones that I've used. I, I like to kind of look back at the months to see what I've done. I've been switching up my size a couple of times, so not everything is in here, but I use this to plan out my months. And so let me look further. I mean, really, that's it for this this monthly part. Um, I do have like a personal and business master task list with an index in front of each month and I kind of explained that when I talked about like why I switched to Franklin Planner in a previous video and so you guys can check that out but just kind of as an overview um, you put your tasks that you want to get done for the month and then for the index you 
have daily pages or weekly pages and if you have certain notes that are important to come back to then you write out the date that you wrote the note and what the note is about on your index page so you can just kind of look at your index page instead of having to like flip through all of your daily pages to try to find something so that's the cool part about the month now this is a card holder i actually got this from franklin planner i used a couple a5 size and i just um punched it but this one is specifically from franklin planner i just have a couple of cards in here some stickers pictures and i use this to separate the weeklies because i have like a different <laughs> Just kind of a different mental space when I'm moving from my monthlies and then going to my weeklies. I feel like this is the space where I have to like really get down to business. This I, this is a another extra page lifter that I put in my planner. So when I'm writing on my weeklies, then I can have something sturdy to write on. This vellum is from Cloth and Paper. This page is a monthly planning sheet where th uh, this is from indigo printables and it lists out the goals for the month a few goals for the month a few tasks that you have and really that's kind of similar to the master task list but i like how this is laid out so i use this more so than the master task list it has an important box what what you want to just kind of make sure that you do habits to create and how you want to celebrate this month and then on the back i have a monthly review so overall how was the month and just kind of journal what how the month went um what was going on five big wins lessons that i've learned happy memory and how can i make next month even better so really this is just kind of a journaling sheet which again is really cool to have in your monthly so that you can just kind of go back and make sure that you're doing what you are saying that you're going to do similar to in the goals section so for instance like if i look at my mission statement and then come back to my monthly review and i didn't get anything done that i said i was going to do in the mission statement or if i wasn't aligned with that then just it kind of makes me revisit like either my to-do list like what am i doing or are these really my goals which i feel like this is more solid because this is this has spent a lot of time you know just kind of cultivating but you know the to-dos are more like everyday brain dumps and so i think it's just really important to just kind of look back on the month and make sure okay i'm i'm keeping i'm keeping going with all the things that i have going so now i have a recurring task list things like change the hvac filter and i'll put a cross on ones that months that i don't need to do it i'm not going to do it i just started this page not too long ago so i just put these lines here just to kind of mark that i wasn't tracking during that time this next page is my gratitude page and this is from simple and trendy co actually let me go back a little bit indigo printables uh peanuts planner co simple and trendy co and this is a just kind of a monthly i don't know i actually don't know what it's called in her shop but it's literally a list from 1 to 31. so you can find this in a lot of shops or you can just kind of create your own list you don't have to you know have something that's specifically spelled out for gratitude that's kind of what i did for this because it's not specifically for gratitude it's just kind of a blank page and i like this setup though because of the bigger boxes and it kind of separates it mentally for me so i appreciate that um, and i just kind of list out every day as much as possible different gratitude that i have and um yeah, I'm going to keep this for October and then in November, I'll just have this listed out here. Now we're getting into the weeklies. I'm separating my weeklies because again, we're still in the calendars section. I'm set. I was about to say celebrating. I'm separating my weeklies from the like 
monthly overview and different tasks by some vellum and I'm using Simple and Trendy Co for these. It's just kind of like a weekly overview where I list out just kind of events that I have going on, um, different checklists that I have or different things that I have to do for that week, just overall. And it, it kind of helps me to just kind of see what's happening on one page instead of going through every single page to figure out, okay, what do I have coming up? When I'm, I just started school again and I realized that I was really struggling with seeing what's happening ahead of time. And I'm like, oh crap, I have this reading due or oh crap, I have this reading due. And so being able to just see it from a weekly perspective, I'm able to notice and be like, okay, this is coming up. This paper is due in this at this time. And like, for instance, on the 25th, I have another paper due. And so if I just kind of look at that ahead of time, I can see what's coming up and not feel so behind. So I am going to move on to the weekly, the weekly overview or the weekly timesheet. This is just how I'm keeping track of my time. I am going to make this these pages a little bit more cutesy, have little stickers, and I'm just tracking what I've been doing. Honestly, there are days where it feels like I'm just wasting so much time and I don't know what's happening. But then I look back and I'm like, oh, I did that and I did that and I did that. So it's really encouraging to help me see what I'm actually doing, what I'm not doing. And make sure when I plan for the next week, I have a plan for how I'm going to separate my time. Um, like, for instance, this week, I have different clients and um, different things that I have going on. And I use this page flag or different page flags for just kind of things that I know that I might move or I might use for the next week. And that's it for the weekly timesheet. So now I have my dailies. These dailies, sorry, I think there's a train outside. I don't know if you guys can hear that. But these dailies are from Simple and Trinity Co. They are a um, just kind of a day on two pages. And I asked her to kind of create a similar layout to Franklin Planner. I have been missing my 32 pound paper. Franklin Planner does not use 32 pound paper, so I've been missing the thick paper. And so I just kind of wanted to have something similar that I could just kind of customize myself and like write all the notes that I end up writing anyway. Let me show you guys a page. So like for this day, I'll have a quote at the top. Um, something that I want to remember or just kind of remind myself for the day. I have the task list, the emails or contacts I have um, that I have to do, schedule, daily notes, and for self-care and responsibility, I kind of broke it down into different things like, you know, what I'm cleaning, who I'm praying for, what I'm watching, what I'm listening, what I'm spending, and what I'm playing. I like to play games like Animal Crossing and um, I have a bunch of phone games. So sometimes I just kind of want to keep track of like what I'm playing that day. And um, also a food journal, vitamins, exercise, and hydrate. And the Franklin Planner is very similar in that it has like these major spots but it doesn't break it down into the different sections and I kind of wanted to try it but for November I think I'm going to go back to the Franklin planner because this is kind of stuffed and um if you guys can tell here it's kind of stuffed and so the 32 pound paper is while it's really nice to write on it really just is not practical to have multiple months like I don't even have all of October in here um, but because I want to keep so much, so many other things in my planner, it'll be a lot more helpful to have the thinner pages for the day on two pages. And that's it for the calendar section. The calendar section was really long. The rest of these sections are a lot shorter because they're in development mode. A lot of them aren't completed, but I have 
you know, just an idea of how I want to work through it and different inserts that I want to add. And I'll just kind of give you guys a look at that. For the list section, I have Annie Plans Printables, which I miss her printables because of how I'm about to show you guys now how just complete they feel it has a cover page and a back page and so I miss having just a little bit of decor in my planner and have like a section that feels just complete with a beginning and end and so I wanted to use any plans printables for this I don't have a ton of lists in here right now, but I wanted to create lists that um, just kind of inspired me. And so this list is a book wish list and reading list. I didn't write a list on the back of here because while it's 32 pound paper, I still sometimes struggle with writing on the first page because you can see it on the cover page. So I, did, I just kept that blank have a book list and reading list um, just different books that I want to check out or um, that someone suggested to me and we'll see because I was supposed to read <laughs> I was supposed to read like 50 books this year but with COVID and traveling and things like that I have just been so behind on reading and so I want to get back into the habit of that so if you guys have any book recommendations then please do share so this next one shows that um, I want to watch or finish. So I started The Godfather of Harlem literally last year and I'm still not done because it's so intense and movies or shows that are pretty intense, it either like I could either binge it completely or like just in a week or they just need time. Like I just need time to just grasp what's happening here and that's kind of how i feel about the godfather of harlem um riverdale real housewives of potomac i'm not done so please don't share any spoilers for riverdale or real housewives of potomac um because yeah i mean i wanna i wanna be surprised <laughs> so um n my next list is uh my frequent and favorite meals i have an actual recipe planner in my notion and notion is a computer software program where it's you can just create so many different things like a database list all these things and maybe one day i'll show you guys my notion but i have most of my meals there because I have, I save my recipes there. Like they have a web clipper where if I find a recipe online, I can just clip it to there. But I wanted to have a list in my planner of different meals that I really, really enjoy. And so whenever I feel like, oh, what do I want to eat or what do I want to make? Then I can just refer to this list instead of like looking through my whole, you know, list of just all the meals and all the recipes just check out the ones that i really 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 like and this lemon broccoli and zucchini pasta it's one of my favorites i found it on i think it was what the health yeah it was what the health it's vegan it's good try it <laughs> Okay, so the next is my wish list. I don't have very many things on these lists. I just literally just kind of created this section because I kept my list in a different place, but I really, really miss having a list section. And this is kind of what got me into planning in the first place. I when back in like 2014, 2015, you know, different planners would have their planners open. They would have different lists of like what they're doing. But the section that I'd be most interested in is their list of just things that inspire them, things that they're keeping track of. And so I I don't know why it was my favorite. I, I feel like I'm just, I'm really a lister, but I think planning for just things that I have to do aren't so fun but planning for things that I can do that I want to do those are the fun things and so that's kind of what I keep in my list section so this next list um there are places I want to travel and why I do have a travel section but I wanted to keep this here because this is kind of like the inspiration section 
things that, you know, I want to be, like I said, inspired by. And so just having the places I want to travel on this list, but the more details in my travel section. And that's it for the list section. All right, now it's the section for social media. This page is from Simple and Trendy Co. It's just an undated monthly insert. And I'm using this to plan out my YouTube and my Instagram. And I'm keeping track of when I film, when I post, um, when I plan for different different videos and honestly i want to get back to it because it's really fun to like talk with you guys and share and you know i i just love that this youtube community and being able to connect with each other in more detail rather than just kind of like getting a snippet or a picture and trying to connect in that way um i really enjoy watching some of you guys's videos and so i i love that you know we can kind of connect in this way so this is my instagram content planner i'm really not i'm just keeping track of like when i post um also doing my blog posts on here too i do have a blog but man it is it's hard to keep up with the blog because sometimes i'm just not in the writing mood but um, I do have certain things on my blog, like like a free preset, how I apply certain things, different reviews that I have, and um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the calendars. I have a list of ideas for blog posts and YouTube, and currently that's it for the social media section. I have an app that I use, Planoly. I think that's how you pronounce it. I use that for more detailed planning, like hashtags and things like that, because, you know, I love, love, love the copy paste feature. And I don't want to list out all the hashtags I'm using. So the planner is basically planning for the future while I use the app to kind of see different stats and what has happened. And that's it on to the health area so i just have a weekly meal plan here that is from indigo printables and indigo printables is on etsy by the way and i'm just mapping out the days and what i'm eating on those days or what i'm planning to eat on those days now this little sheet is for measurements i have my measurements listed out but i like this diagram so i can just kind of like you know put a little tree off here and then write out um, the different measurements and i'm gonna try to update this pretty often maybe like once every couple of months so i know what sizes to get um, for different stores and things like that this little sheet is a weight tracker and for every day i'm just writing out how much i weigh and sometimes it's not every day sometimes i'm just like whatever i'm not really you know pressed about it i'm just i just like to keep track of it and i have a couple of apps but i kind of wanted to clear out my phone and so i don't use the app anymore for that i just write about on here this little area is for different notes that i have about health and fitness i don't have a whole lot here but that's just kind of what i'm keeping in that section in my last planner i had a lot more but because i have detailed dailies then i really don't need a whole lot in this health section but i like having it here so i can refer to certain things like measurements weight and different notes that i have okay now for the home this is so short honestly i just have ideas to renovate and ideas to decorate so have some repainting things that I want to do and decorating. I want to have like, you know, different patio furniture or figure out um, like where we want to do what we want to do with our fire pit and things like that. And so really this page is just to kind of list out the ideas I have because these projects are a lot longer. They take a lot longer for me. And so I don't want to, you know, have a really good idea and then forget it because it, you know, it just took too long to execute. So that is the home section. 
Now for the finance section. I have, I keep track of most of my finances in a Google sheet with my husband. And so we have like a breakdown of how much we're making, what percentages go to um, what fund or what pot. And so, you know, we just, we break it down in there and that's all digital, but I have this section to kind of like help me stay focused on what I want to buy in the future, what streams of income I want to develop, different things like that. I have a savings log from the List Lab as well as a debt repayment log from the List Lab. I really like the List Lab inserts for this because it's very clean and I just I just really like it but I will say if you're using a Franklin punch then it will kind of go into the insert a little bit because of um, the space between the end of the paper and the rings and for half letter size there's I guess in the insert the way that the insert is made there's a little bit less space and that's kind of the case for all of these i just made extra space when i printed it out i just printed it at like you know the picture at like 97 percent instead of 100 percent so that i can have room to punch um i think that's important to know i didn't do that for this though Okay, so school section. This section is literally just holding my Pomodoro planner. I want to keep track of just what I'm studying, what I'm doing. Yesterday, I had like a major paper writing session because I had a couple of papers to write. And like I said, I've been behind. So I just really need to, you know, bust it out that day. And it just keeps track of like what I was doing all that time and so really a Pomodoro is you set a timer for 25 minutes you rest for 25 minutes and just keep doing that and so this is also from indigo printables and I really like it because of how minimal it looks but also it has like a little pretty flair to it. Added a little bit of washi as well. Um, but that's all I'm having in my school section. I don't have any other ideas for the school section except maybe some notes because I keep track of my school stuff in Notion because there are a lot more things that I have to type, a lot more notes that I have to keep track of, different sources and formatting and all that stuff so it's a lot better to keep it on the computer but I do want to keep like my study tracking time in my planner. My work section is something that I really can't show um, because of just the sensitive information in it but I will say that I do keep a list of different interventions that I want to try with clients um, for whatever their needs are. I am a therapist and so I have different supervision like group supervision or individual supervision and when I go to supervision and I talk to my supervisor or my different peers you know we kind of think through different different ways to help our clients and so I keep my notes of that in here but in terms of organizing that part of my life and tracking that that aspect i do all of that in simple practice which is a electronic health record for therapists so if you guys are therapists and you want to try simple practice then i will leave a link for that below and it is really really helpful there are a lot of other electronic health records but i don't love them because of the interface the interface on simple practice looks really clean really nice and so that's what I use to do work stuff now we're at the travel section <laughs> so <laughs> as you can see there is nothing in here there is nothing in here right now because I am not currently traveling. So like I said in the list section I'm keeping a list here for all of the places that I want to go 
But for this section, I am I will be keeping track of more detailed information. So, you know, let's say I go on a trip. I want to keep track of the flight information, um, different, you know, if there's a layover, what hotels I'll be staying in, accommodations, what foods I want to eat while I'm there. I won't keep the, the food ideas in my list section because it's specific to a trip. And so I will have like one trip, one project in this travel section at a time. And anything that I'm done with, then I'll transfer that to my Notion or I'll transfer it to the storage binder that I have. Okay, the very last section is the key information section. And this is where I'm keeping password trackers and different um, papers that are really important but very sensitive. So the, this password tracker is from Cloth and Paper. I will also be keeping my expense envelope back here. This is from Franklin Planner. Any receipts that I get for work or anything like that, then I'll put it in this folder and update this piece of paper with, you know, just the, the records of expenses. And then I'll transfer that to my Google Sheet with my husband. This is the page lifter and Finally, I have some extra weekly compass sheets and these sheets go into the dividers here, not this divider. They go into this, these different dividers that have like a pocket for it. And basically it's kind of translating the mission statement and the roles and goals for the mission statement onto the weekly compass sheets. And you can fold them over and pull them off. Let me show you here and then stick them in here and that way you don't have to keep looking at this front page if you don't want to and so sometimes I use these if there are really important tasks that I have to get done each each week and like and when I say really important I mean these are tasks that are very important but not urgent like it's easy to forget about these tasks when i look through my mission statement and then i transfer it to here i don't pick out every single thing i just pick out the most important things not the things that would have the most impact on the week and, and what I'm doing. So I keep these back here. I took them out because as I'm turning the pages, then, you know, I don't want them to get, I don't want any pages to get ripped. So actually I might keep this in this folder up here that I was saying I don't, I don't use, but yeah, they fit perfectly. I have a notepad back here. I forgot to tell you guys where I got my dividers and things like that, but I got these colorful dividers from Franklin Planner and it came in a bundle. It's called the Blooms Inserts and it is, again, a day on two page and they just give you these dividers with them. These dividers I made with my silhouette. I just created a rectangle that was 8.5 by 5.5 inches. I made a little rectangle, rounded rectangle, and welded them together. And these are not printed on here. These are actually stickers, and I'll show you that. This is my um, little sheet that I created for my dividers, and I just wrote out the, or I just typed out. I always do two per tab because I like to look at them from the front and the back. And so after I cut this out with my silhouette, I just stuck them on and I did not laminate. I do not like to laminate. I don't like how lamination looks. There's just so many reasons why I don't. Um, but it does wear over time and so that's a big reason why i make them with heavy card stock because you know they they wear but they don't wear too easily and when they do it's easy to just replace them and you don't have to spend a whole bunch of money on them so i highly recommend making your dividers if you have a silhouette machine is really not hard if you have cardstock you can make these blank if you have sticker paper then you can make little tabs with whatever fonts you want and it just it makes the planner feel so much more personalized and yeah so that's it that is 
all for this Franklin planner. I love it. This is my whole setup here. I don't have a whole, whole lot that's missing from here other than what I shared, you know, for each section, just not having it filled out or certain things that I don't track in here, like what I put in my notion. But other than that, mostly everything is in here. And like I said, it's pretty chunky. It closes really nicely. So it is, it is kind of heavy, I will say, but it doesn't bother me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave thumbs up. Please subscribe. Um, if you have any ideas, anything that you want to see more in depth, then please let me know in the comment section. Again, if you are using Franklin Planner or if you're interested in any of these Franklin Planners, then they have them on their website. You can use MJ Planner for 15% off. Thank you guys so much. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.